Hey everyone, I want to quickly show you how to add uh, your global modules to the default Divi theme uh, page templates. Um, the reason I did this, and maybe you'll need to do this, is because I created some uh, custom navigation items, uh, sections that Divi didn't offer, and also some footer, uh, a footer layout with specific content that uh, just doesn't translate from the, I guess, custom Divi modules you make in the theme or page builder to the actual single uh, post templates. So if you have like a blog page and you go to that single blog page, it's going to reflect the default Divi footer. Um, I don't want that. And there's no way to actually do that uh, any other way easier than what I'm going to do here, at least that I found online. So if you don't know how to create a global module, or uh, go ahead and uh, create like a standard section or a full width section, specialty section, whatever you want to do, and create that layout. So for instance, I use a three column layout here, inserted my different modules. Um, ultimately, I wanted it to look, let's see here, actually I'll go to the blog. So footer, Instagram, and a subscription at the bottom. Um, footer in, so I added those different items, and the, here's how you create a global module item is clicking on that settings icon and then save and add to library give it a name like global footer or whatever you want to do you can just name it footer make sure to check mark this option here and go ahead and add it to any categories you have then when you're done save it and add to library when you do that it'll turn green like this section here this is actually my footer so i'm going to go ahead and delete that and when you do that it'll be available in your divi library You'll find that Divi library under the Divi options uh, panel there. And here's my footer. So I want to go ahead and click on that item. And you'll notice in your address bar, it says what the post ID is for that. So mine is 512. Uh, that's what we want to insert into our short code into the uh, whatever template file we're editing. So for instance, I'm going to go ahead and go to my file manager. I never do this usually in a C panel, but I'm going to do it for this example. I'm going to go ahead and edit this code. And my the footer code that was here for Divi theme was between the opening and closing footer tags. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paste my short code. And you'll notice here, I found the short code online, but you want to echo that short code and insert the module ID that you have. Uh, mine's 512, so if yours is 95, then go ahead and insert that in there. Uh, go ahead and hit save changes, wherever you may need that. This could be navigation up for your header. Uh, that's a different file, obviously, it's in your header PHP. But this footer.php file is the one that's being loaded into the single blog post page. So what I need to do is go ahead and save changes. It's I already saved it, so there we go. And I need my page footer to look like that on the single blog, blog post pages. So if I go ahead and hit my single blog post page, here we go. I've got my header that was all custom, and there's my footer. Uh, if this wasn't the actual custom footer I just did, it would uh, show that little the default black bar down at the bottom or whatever color it is defaulted with with the credits and the copyright and then the Facebook and Google Plus icon on the bottom right corner. So hopefully this helped you. Good luck.